Okay, so what I have here is a uh, CubeSat simulation that I wrote, um, uh, written in C. Um, let's see, well here's like the main CPP with all, like here's all the initial conditions and everything like that, and uh, you know, a physics engine running in the background, here's like the satellite physics, I've got a, uh, you got like classes for satellites and controllers and everything like that, and so um, what I'm going to do right now is basically just run the orbit model. So I have a bunch of input files down here. Here's the orbit model here. Um, I'm just using a point mass for gravity. And um, I'm using the EMM 2015 magnetic field model, but I'm only updating the magnetic field model once just so it runs faster for this uh, video here. And uh, time step set at 0.1, and uh, my final time is uh, 6,000. Um, here's my satellite with some initial uh, roll pitch and yaw rates, uh, 56 degree inclination, uh, 600 kilometers from the Earth's surface. Um, so if I uh, if I run this simulation here, um, the computer's probably going to lag a little bit because I hear the initial conditions of the satellite. The simulation runs pretty quickly. Um, let's see if this will actually run uh, relatively nicely in real time if I hit enter here. And so there's the uh, orbit of the satellite going around the Earth, and this is in seconds, and so obviously this is sped up. Um, quite a bit. And so one orbit takes about, uh, see there's my computer lagging right there, um, it takes a, you know, 59, 5600 seconds-ish. Um, so the cool thing is, is that uh, we can also, um, I'm going to go back here, and this just, I can simulate these both at the same time, but just because my computer is having issues right now, I'm going to simulate the, uh, the attitude dynamics, and this probably shouldn't say trajectory, this should say simulate, um, let me just do attitude dynamics. Um, so like I said, I can do these both at the same time, but um, my computer's having rendering issues. So let's see, what I want to do is I want to change the uh, skip parameter here and uh, change this to a uh, draw now instead of a pause and uh, let's see, go ahead and uh, simulate this and so initial conditions are still the same and what the, this video is going to show you is the uh, magnet torquers at work. So um, when the satellite initially comes out of the uh, P pod from the rocket, it's going to be tumbling from tip-off moments. Um, but I've, there's magnet torquers in here that uh, react with the magnetic field of the Earth and they actually slow it down. And the angle, the initial angular velocity of the satellite was pretty low. So in about a thousand seconds, so say 20 minutes, the uh, satellite slows down. Uh, magnet torquers are only so good, they don't completely slow down the satellite, so we use what are called reaction wheels to uh, slow the satellite down completely. Um, but this at least shows, uh, you know, the satellite doing its thing, um, and at least slowing down to a nominal level. Um, I'm going to go ahead and attempt to uh, simulate, uh, let, me, let me turn the pause back on, and let me uh, put this skip parameter in here back. Uh, I'm going to try and simulate both at the same time just so you can kind of see um, where the satellite is. Uh, let's see, ooh man, it's, it's having trouble. Uh, so here we go. Um, I'm going to put this guy here and this guy here so we should see the uh, orbit model running in here and the satellite uh, running over here. No, no, it looks like it did okay. There was some aliasing in the beginning. Oh yeah, there it is, like freezing like crazy. Um, but yeah, so now you can kind of see where the satellite is in the orbit um, while it's tumbling. Um, so there you go. Uh, you can uh, the simulation's pretty uh, pretty neat. You can simulate uh, multiple satellites at once um, using uh, this number of satellites here, and uh, that's uh, attitude determination and control. And in, in, you know, just as an overview. Hope you enjoyed it.